Hello Aries, thank you for joining me for the free Tarotscope for September of 2018. It's kind of a big month because it's your full moon. You get one new moon and one full moon every month, every year I should say. And this year, this month is your full moon. Okay. Uh, many of you have said how you appreciate me getting the readings up early, so I'm going to start offering that as a perk for my Patreon supporters. If you would like to support me on Patreon, one of the perks would be that you would get the readings two weeks ahead of time from the regular YouTube viewers, and also there would be no monetization and no Google ads on it. So if that's something that you think would interest you, you can check the link below to go to my Patreon page. Here is the reading for Aries, and by the way, we're using the Rock and Roll Tarot deck as always, and we're going to follow up with the Beast Mistress Animal Oracle cards. But everybody's getting these cards of having to wait, having to wait. So you've been waiting too, and you, you know, having strength and hanging in there and waiting. And you've been in a time of waiting and pausing, and it does seem like things are going to start moving for you as well. I think a lot of this has to, it's been coming up in a lot of the readings, and a lot of this has to do with retrograde planets last year, or last month in August. We've had a lot of retrograde planets and finally things are moving forward for everyone. So the energy is just moving forward. Additionally, this month we have um, the equinox. It's of course the autumnal equinox in the uh, northern hemisphere. We're moving into fall and in the southern hemisphere they're moving into spring. So um, this is a time of change or a shift in energy always for everyone. And that's showing up here in the form, I feel like it's showing up in your reading here in the form of a Knight of Swords. Now, if you've never seen my videos before, the people in the spreads could be male or female or anybody. So it's not necessarily a male or female. And sometimes it's timing. It, sometimes it talks about timing. We have a King of Pentacles and a King of um, Swords, Knight of Swords. So that's Earth and air. So sometimes that talks about a transition from earth to air. That's exactly what's happening at the equinox. We're moving from Virgo, which is earth, and into the air sign of Libra. So that equinox date, by the way, is the 22nd of September. So that could be a date, a key date for our Aries people out here. It always is a shift in energy. It always is a, sh a change of seasons. And I do offer a, a, a reading about that, and I'm going to tell you about it in a little bit. But in the meantime, this might be more towards, by the time we get to Libra, that Seven of Cups shows up. And that indicates dreams are becoming a reality. So something that you've been dreaming about, visualizing for a long time, is coming, could be coming a reality as we change into the, the new season. Uh, something that was struggle and obstacles in the past is not anymore. It's changing. It's moving. Uh, the, the obstacles are being lifted. Um, there does seem to be like there was some people gossiping or there was some sort of... Um, this talks about people gossiping or people kind of gathering together and being catty or gossipy. So despite that and despite the different struggles, the dream is finally coming true and it follows right down to the three of uh, cup <laughs> three of wands, the three of wands, which means your ships are coming in, your ships are arriving. You can see your success coming. You can finally, it's not in the visuals, in a vision anymore. It's not only a vision, it's becoming a reality. You can see it. And then you have the magician here, and you feel really empowered. You feel like you're all charged up and ready to go, and it's so empowering, and you're ready for anything. The Magician is sort of a solitary card, though. He does stand on his own, so often this is something that you're going to do on your own. That you're going to, you know, it's, it's something, it could be your own business. For some of you, it definitely could be your own business. It could be your idea that gets picked up, and it becomes something much bigger. The King of Pentacles definitely has something to do with it, in a favorable, man, a favorable way. Again, the, the court cards, which are the kings and knights and the people in the spread, they could be male or female. It's not necessarily uh, gender specific. The king of pentacles is a king, though, no matter what. So that's somebody who's further along, more established. Often the king of pentacles does have to do with financial matters. They could be the money man. They could be the banker, the financier. It's right on the card. Tycoon. By the way, if any of these words stand out to you on these cards, Please do go with that because that is a message 
to you directly from spirit. So um, this person is instrumental in making this dream into a reality. The ship is coming in and you are just reared up and ready to go. You Everything's in place. You have the financing, you have the job, you have whatever you need. To, and now it's just full steam ahead to make this dream become a reality. So it looks so favorable. Um, a lot of the readings have been similar, but I do advise that you check your rising and moon because there could be further insights in the rising and moon. But many people have had the readings of we're waiting, we're waiting, and then bam, all of a sudden everything's going. Could be that the planets are moving forward out of the retrograde. Could be that we're moving into a new season. It all comes into play. We are going to do your animal totem card, but quickly I just want to show you something that I'm so excited about, this astrology art that I'm doing. This is a personal astrology art that I'm doing I, where I use the constellation from your chart and uh, your chart itself, and then I layer on all these uh, different things on top of it. it. Each one is different. Each one is unique. This is another one. Um, also, I'm using doing these personalized planetary glyphs which is also like just the planets and symbols of your chart. They make a great gift for yourself or for somebody else. I'm quickly just going to show you on my website one more thing. I've got these uh, under the t-shirt section. I have every combination of sun and moon sign available and it has a planetary glyph too. You can find that under the T section. You would have to click on your sign. And then under the art section is where you'll find the astrology art. And then under the reading section is where you're going to find this uh, ingress reading that I'm doing. It'll be available for a limited time. It takes a look at the Libra ingress, which is the uh, fall season up north, and um, how it affects you specifically. It is astrology-based, but it's still a psychic reading like all of my readings. And then I will pull an animal totem for you in that uh, reading as well. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and jump over to our animal totem for our Aries friends for the month of September of 2018. What is in store for our Aries friends? Okay. Aries, Aries, Aries. The bees, you're gonna be busy. Busy bee. Fertility, abundance, creativity, propagation, strong connection to home and family, accomplishing tasks in a timely manner, taking time to the taste the sweet nectar in life. Yeah, I mean, you will probably be working really hard with the magician here, but also take the time to enjoy the sweet nectar in life. Take the time to uh, enjoy your success. Take the time to pat yourself on the back for a job well done. You know, it feels like you've been really working on this for a long time. This isn't something that's just come up out of nowhere. When you have the Four of Swords and the Strength card, up here as the beginning. And this is four to eight months or four to eight weeks that you've been working. It could even be four to eight years that you've been working on this and trying to make this thing happen. You've been dreaming it. You've been visualizing it. You've been trying to make it happen and it's finally arriving. Despite obstacles, despite people who are maybe jealous or catty or trying to um, stop you or naysayers or whatever the case may be it's it, there's a great chance of this really coming and happening right now especially around that time of the transition from the um the tour not the Taurus to the aries but the virgo to the libra time frame and during the equinox so you have a favorable reading for many people it's been things are finally going to get moving here that seems to be the trend here Many of these cards have come up like crazy, and I think it's again because of all the retrograde. Things are moving when, and it's a chain reaction. You know, things move for one person, and they have the money to give to you, and on we go, and on we go. It's like a snowball effect or a chain reaction. So that's your reading, Aries. I want to, and don't forget about that full moon. Your one and only full moon on the 24th. Very powerful time for you. Uh, I want to thank you all for tuning in and purchasing all my wares. If you visit my site, you can find the decks, the books, the art, the t-shirts. Everything will be linked to there. The Patreon link is below. I don't know that I have it on my website. I might have to, but for now, it's just below the video and the show more section or see more. Thank you for everything you do. I appreciate you so much. Everything that you do to help support me and the channel, continue to do these free readings every month. And even though I'm going to be releasing them 
to the Patreon people early, they'll still be free on YouTube like they always have been for all these years. So that's not going to go away. It won't be... Everybody can view the reading. It's just that the Patreon supporters will get it a little bit earlier. Don't forget that Equinox reading and all the special offers that I have. I appreciate everything that you do so much. Have a great month of, um, not October, but September. A great Equinox. And I'll speak to you soon.